Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 74 of Shinjin Takeda Campaign. And uh, the Wesugis have just formed a coalition to go up against us. So these are these are all they're all here and on the eastern front the Nanbu has also joined a coalition. So we are right now prepared to take on the Azai. Remember they uh yeah, they poached one of our samurai. So we're coming back to pay them a visit. So all of these guys are in a coalition. See all of these guys. And on the western front, uh, the war between the Otomos and uh, the Mori continues to go on. So, so apparently, the Mori took this back. Uh, they they still lost this one. They also lost this one. Oh, uh, they lost. Wait, uh huh. Hold on. Yeah, I thought they lost this one. Oh, they got it back again. So, so they have been swapping properties back and forth, but they they still lost this one. So the Mori took this back and also took this back. Uh, so so. On the Western Front, there is that major war going on, and on our side, we uh, we will be going up against these guys. So, uh, who are we sending over? Oh, Sinjin. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Let the fun begin. We are after. Okay, and then Chunashige, uh, no, that's Ujiasu. Okay, I've gained the statesman. Okay, Where a will. Let us we march. Wow. Oh, okay. The coalition is sending so many people down towards to help. I've gained the statesman trait. Wait, wait. Let us see what's going on. Wow, Shinjin has taken two thousand hit. How about this guy? Ooh, two thousand. Wow. Oh, this is Soteki Asakura. Yeah, that he is a high caliber general too. Oh, Asakura. Yoshihagi, okay. Wow, we have a lot of ouch. Uh we have a lot of people getting really old and uh, <laughs> with one foot in the grave, we have forty thousand against an enemy of five thousand. So, uh, huh. okay. So let us check. The reason we have not, uh, in between episodes, we have not been conquering any other guys. Uh, but the thing is that, but we have been building a, a bunch of. Yeah, we have been building a bunch of uh, fortresses, and so whether we took on, whether we we were able to capture fortresses or not, doesn't matter. It just I think the the computer or the game based it on. Oh, okay. Uh, based it on the amount of castles we have picked up. Uh, wait. This is what. Based on the amount of castles we've picked up, and so that's why as soon as we hit a certain limit or a certain size, they automatically uh, jump down on us, or a coalition coalition is formed. Okay, so if we put 
Uh, it will be 780 versus... No, that's not good. Uh, let's do crafts. Because this is a small small town. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so... I have been building towns left and right, even in the off episodes. And therefore, that's why uh, this coalition was organized to thwart us. Uh... Wow, this is has how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh huh. E E E. Okay. And then. Well, this mountain town, we built this fortress. It's supposed to be a huge fortress, but this mountain town has only four fields or has only four pieces of property to develop. I don't understand this when they say, yeah, you're going to build a magnificent fortress. And it turned out, well, that one and this one over here, we just built close to the shore. They have, don't have much in terms of... Uh, developable real estate so uh i it is uh i don't know how they they should not have described it as like wow it is like a fortress to uh of the ages or something like that but apparently not uh okay so Ishida. See all. The, so we in the future. I, I, if I play this game again, uh, I, I, I know not to build outside. Oh, see, like this one. This was recently constructed, and it has only four fields. Come on, you know it has a lot of flat areas here. Why not? Why not build? Why, why not develop those? So I really don't understand uh, how. They should not have described it as like, oh, that's a fantastic piece of uh, fortress you're building. It turned out that, meh, that's BS. Okay, so we need to watch. Ask for anything you want. Okay, arms. Deer horn. Baron helmet. Wow. Thank you for your patronage. Ask for anything you want. Wow, these are these are soaking up cash like crazy. Thank you for your patronage. Ask for anything you want. Youch. Thank you for your patronage. Okay, let's develop back to the standard development. The next target we should look at is uh, Wisugi's actually, because uh, they are the leader of the coalition. So if we wipe them out, then uh, no more coalition. Anyway, let's just concentrate first on the Azai, and then we will take on the Asakura for being busy bodies and uh, coming in and helping these guys out initially if there was no coalition i was planning to just take all these little uh little provinces around that area so that we can pick up a bunch of samurais but it didn't work out that way so uh, i didn't realize that uh our profligacy in terms of building more and more towns would lead to the, no even our built fortresses count towards uh the formation of a coalition Ooh. wow
see like this one this is again also a town uh, town that we built see it has very little real estate uh i am totally so it only has one two and three why not here when i don't understand this anyway so that's okay uh so we know better next time assuming we play this again using an uh, another daimyo or maybe playing no uh nobunaga's uh, scenario oh yeah we built this one too see that's why we have been building and again this one doesn't have much uh real estate to play it one two three but it gave us a port Unlike next door, look at this, huge, right? And this one too huge, but yet when we build here, they don't, how about not this area? I, I don't understand it. So they should not describe it as a massive fortress for the ages. They should have just said, you know what? Not a good, because in some areas when we try to build, they say not a good place for a fortress. They should have said the same thing here. Anyway, oh, again, that's a, this is a new one. Same. We have only like so many real estate. One, two, and three. So I don't understand. Uh, anyway, uh, those represent disappointments. This one is good though. So this one, we built this one. So this one has, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Possibly nine. Maybe not as much. Uh, so just, uh, I need to remember that uh, we can, the Kanto gives the best bang for the buck in terms of fortress construction. Uh, anywhere else, not a good idea. I, th I thought we could crowd this whole area. Uh, so this is a new, see, this is a new fortress that we built also. So that's the main, see, this has a lot of real estate, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Despite being close next door to Oshi, Oishi or something, however you pronounce that one. So uh, we just need to keep it to the Kanto. Uh, So when you guys, uh, if you start to, uh, if you decide to play this game and build your own empire, I hope these, the lessons I picked up, uh, you can use the lessons I picked up. Utsunomiya, oh, we're still. So if Nanbu hits us now, it would be a little more complex for us. The nice thing is that we still have Koga. We have 13,000. We have Kawago, about, uh, but we're short, yeah, because we just went through them. Uh, and then we have Utsunomiya. And we have Ota Castle. And also, we just got this castle. So that's pretty, not that good. It's uh, 4,500, but uh, still good. So we now have more uh, resources in this area. So hopefully that will keep uh, the Nanbu uh, to their own property instead of uh, taking the opportunity to jump, to try to jump some of our uh, cities. It's not going to do them well, but, uh, but we might lose some of them because uh, our star general is occupied elsewhere. Okay, so we've done that and we've, we've bought everything we need to buy. How about this one over here? Rice dealer? Oh, okay. He he is busy. He's alone. 
Okay, let's save this. So hopefully on the on the Western Front, yeah, if uh, Otomo or if either both Otomo and Maurice jump in on the bandwagon, we'll have a hard time. Okay, let's see how things are working out here. Well, these guys. Okay, we have that. We have that. Okay, let's continue with the fun. Wow, we just took tw 2,300 loss. Let's check how our 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 generals doing. Youch. Yoshi Yoshiatsu. Satake's unit, ouch. Uh, Shinjin down 2,000 also. Okay, uh, wow. Are they paralyzed or what? How come they're not moving? That's Ujiasu, right? Chonashige. Wow, uh, Yoshiatsu Satake has taken a beating. Okay, who's this guy? Soteki? Kasumaza. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, who's this big guy down here? 16,000. Jeez, that's big. So the the flags coming out of those guys give us a, an indication as how big the size of the army is. Like this one. 16,000. Wow. Uh, but to what kind of general is he? Well, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, any treasures? Armor. Wow. And then the other one is politics tomb. Thank you for your patronage. We want to Have buy you want. what we want to buy specifically Thank you for your patronage. are the uh, swords so that once we get that that feckless guy <laughs> who has left us. Oh wait wait, uh, before we do that. Yeah, let's do this first. Uh huh, this is F E F E F F E E E See, we have only three properties here. Jeez, I, I don't understand this. Anyway, so I'm I'm, I'm, since we cannot uh, develop that into a big city, we might as well use the uh, specialty that it is offering. How about this guy? Oh, the water castle.
So how's all the war in terms of Wow, we're not improving on uh, on the on the conscripts. So and then this one, Ishioka. Might as well uh, use the guy, yeah. Oh, see, as soon as we built this one, oh, they're asking for us to. So that's a new, that's a new fortress. It's got 5,388 after two turns. Kasugayama. Wow, we still haven't hit 10,000 in terms of uh, soldiers here. I think we need to rejigger uh, Kasugoyama so that it will become uh, conscript heavy. Fukashi, haven't, haven't, haven't uh, dealt with that uh, in a long time. Wow. Okay. Oh, leader. I must have been missing that guy. Didn't notice. You know, uh, two days ago, I was browsing through, uh, what do you call this, GameStop's uh, shelves, and I saw Sh Shadow of War drop to 1999. And so I, uh, I, I, I was, I didn't, I didn't get it then, and. Uh, Today I went back to GameStop. Surprise, surprise! It's back to forty nine ninety nine. I don't know what kind of games these guys are playing, so it does make sense to constantly visit those shops. Uh, sometimes, and I asked the uh, uh, the seller or the the salesperson. He says, "Oh, we had a flash. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, flash sale." Uh, so uh, no idea why they dropped the price, but uh, I regret not buying it immediately. I thought, you know, usually when they have a sale, it's usually about a week, or it will at least will go all the way to the weekend. Apparently not. So I'm disappointed. I wish I had bought that and then. Uh, where, where's the overseer? Oh, okay, yeah, we're we're using him to do something else. So that was a disappointment because I, I would love to uh, share the gameplay of that game because we finished a Shadow of Mordor and that was a terrific ride. 
and I I should have picked it up immediately. I was anyway. Now that I know, th like things like that, flash they do have flash sales. Uh, we're not gonna let another situation like that, another opportunity like that, get away from us. So in the future, once I see something, we'll I'll just grab it, and then uh, even if I don't. Because I was thinking that uh, we still have some, like we have some, some, you know, a few days left in this game because this game is still pretty large, and we have close to about a week left on the gameplay here for Shinjin Takeda's uh, campaign, and so I, that's why I wasn't in a hurry to pick it up. I said, well, I think I have time. Apparently not. So, uh, in the future, I will not let uh, a good, you know, an opportunity like that again get away from me. So, uh, lesson learned. I hope you guys uh, will profit from the same lesson I picked up today. Anyway, this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.